All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God, Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He He is to be, He exists. Ba'ashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, He is the Deliverer. Ba'ashem means in the name. Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Mills who rule well and taught us this truth and peace and citations to you Akim that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity and we want to say uh, Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, we just a few brothers from the GMS Boston camp back here with a quick lesson. I'm the brother Tazawar. Banawar. And we're just here, just going to roll through the spirit. We have a, a, a picture on our screen of a, a time, uh, what do you call these, uh, a measuring time. And you can see that the time is almost up in this picture. And it's, it's symbolic to how we're, the time is almost up for America. You know, the Lord gave us these signs and wonders, these clues, to pretty, to pretty much to measure the time diligently of, of his uh, judgment to, to, to soon uh, come. And we're here to be the newscasters or the warners uh, of Israel to pretty much give you this warning about the, the judgment of the Heavenly Father. And according to the scriptures, the judgment of the Heavenly Father is going to be a, a time of distress, a time of, uh, um, of anguish, of evil, gnashing of teeth, mourning. And that's who we're here to proclaim to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to pretty much get right and repent because the days of the Lord is at hand. You know, so I don't know if we want to start off with uh, you got second Ezra's. I got something real quick. Uh, okay, come. On. Uh, first Peter four verse seven sin. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yes, sir. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scales to be saved, what shall the ungodly? And the sin is up here. Yeah, the time of the Lord's judgment, it must begin at the house of Israel first, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Lord has a controversy with this place, you know, because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High. So he said he was going to bring plagues upon the earth, you know, the sword, the famine, death, and destruction. And we in the brinks of uh, uh, this place uh, going into uh, utter chaos. You know, uh, we like to say that America is is going down that toilet bowl. It's soon to be destroyed. Circling the drain. It's circling the drain. And we can see it, you know. And this is why the Lord is going to bring these plays. You can see uh, a, a huge uprising of the Hebrew Israelites preaching this word. You see more uh, seditions among men. You see earthquakes in diverse places. You see... Um, uh, wars and rumors of wars, like according to Matthew 24, and these are indicators, these are signs and clues that we know that this, the, the judgment of the Lord is now at hand. You want to get 2nd Ezra's, Ezra's 8? 50. 50. No, 2nd no, no, Ezra's 8 and uh, 61. Uh, you got some rule? 2nd uh, uh, Ezra chapter 8 verse 61. And the reason, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. That's right. These things have I not shown to all men, but unto thee, and if you like thee. See, the, the, these things that the Lord hasn't shown to all men is these prophecies to get the uh, knowledge and understanding. You know, that's why according to Matthew, the 13th chapter, it's, it's, it's blesses our eyes because we can see and blesses our ears because we can hear. We can see the upcoming danger that the Lord is going to bring. You know, but all men it, it, it can't see this, or all people, because you know, it, it's it's not given to all all people to to know. Right. Right. And not everybody's watching, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you, in order to be um, aware of, of your surrounding, you have to have been circumspect, right? That's right. You, gotta, you know, stand upon the watch. You know, Come. only a select few men are doing that. You know, because ultimately the desire to watch is given to you by the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's the one that puts the spirit in a man to do whatever he does. That's right. You know, and to watch. You know, the majority of the people, they're going about their daily lives, you know, like, you know, like nothing is happening. You know, like it's everything's normal, you know. Mm -hmm. Wearing a mask has become a normal thing. You know, they, they, they don't, they can't see, they can't foresee, uh, uh, um, you know, any, any time of evil. That's right. Because they've been conditioned, you know, to normality, you know. You take away normal from an average American person and they go ballistics, man. And and Esau knows this, man. This is why he conditions the mind of the people into accepting whatever bullshit he wants to push out. You know, now uh, uh, the, the new mask thing, 
you know, at first when it first came out, you know, people were, were a little hesitant, you know, you know, it was it wasn't uh, something normal. But now, you know, it's that that's the new normal. Yeah, you can't leave out. Normal. You can't leave home without it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you, you go into a store and you immediately feel feel for your pocket like a secondhand nature, you know, mm-hmm. looking for that mask, you know, and, and, and that just that's just uh, to show the mindset of the people. You know, they're, right. they're sheeps, you know, they're, they're easily manipulated, right. you know, they're easily manipulated by the media who, who, who does nothing but put fear, you know, fear monger uh, upon the people. And, and it's the wrong type of fear, right? Because fear is a good thing. You know, fear um, keeps you in line. You know, the fear of the Heavenly Father, scriptures say, is the beginning of knowledge. So that's a good thing, you know, but, you know, the, the, the media, um, you know, the, the Esau's witchcraft. That's what right. he does, he is he uses fear as a as a tactical um, advantage. Yeah. That is to rule the people, man. Yeah, and, and through your fear, through their propaganda, you're, you're easily uh, are bound to submit or to obey their right. their 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 rules or their suggestions, right. right? And and this is why they can't foresee the things of the spirit, man. We're here to tell you that hey, the evil days is drawing nigh. You know. Right. Right. Uh, back to you up, right? Right. Uh, Proverbs mm-hmm. twenty twenty three. A prudent men foresee the evil and hide it from self, mm. but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, the, yeah, the average American person are simple, man. You know, they 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 don't know how to fry an egg if their life depended on it, man. Mm. You know, they, all they know is 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 what what's the quickest way to do something? What's the quickest way to get something? You know, they they're not into doing any type of research. They're lazy as all hell. That's why you got all types of drive-throughs and shit. You know, drive through windows and and everything is facilitated. Everything's at their easy at, at their the, convenience. At the, at, right at the mm-hmm. touch of a button, you know they mm-hmm. can order food. You know, at the touch of a button, they can order a, a ride. You know, if they don't have a transportation mean. You know, you have somebody pick you up. You know, everything is um is is geared to um you know be to easy, be easy, accessible, and accessible, man. That's right. Which is which will keep you what will keep you in a comfortable state, a, a comfort, comf- right? Comfortable state, and it'll keep you um, docile, docile, right? right? Asleep, you mm-hmm. know. That's right. Not wanting to uh, research anything, not wanting to question things, you know. And 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 that's what Esau's really looking for. Esau looking for a perfect sheep, you know, a perfect uh, slave, you know, a, a slave that doesn't think for himself, but only thinks about what the master has told him. That's know? right. But hey, if I got a quick precept, because the Lord is he, he's putting that spirit of the watchman to pretty much break you out of that mold, you know, well, those the Lord is going to only give to the elect to pretty much to wake up mm-hmm. and to see pretty much to see the, 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 the evil days. I got Ezekiel three, verse seven. Uh, Ezekiel three, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. Yeah, give uh hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me because uh the watchmen are pretty much uh they are uh, uh pretty much they here to let you know uh, what's to come. They have the vision. They mm-hmm. they are visionary. They see. They have the foresight. They see what's to come. And the job is the services to pretty much warn you of the danger ahead, man. And mm-hmm. that's how we. That's our a lot. You know, we hear. We see all hell is about to break loose. As our usual service, we tell you to get your act right, get your act together before the the the, the judgment, before the wrath of Yahweh Hashem shall come, man. You know, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, the only way that you're gonna be able to come out of this uh tribulation, trial, chaos that's gonna be on in on fall upon the earth is through the hand of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai gonna be the one that has the power to save you out of it, right? Because uh ultimately he's the one that's gonna bring it forth. So by default he's also the one has can pretty much uh, uh, uh take you out of it, man. That's you know? That's right. You still got that in uh, Second Ezra? Yeah, I got that right. Uh, uh-huh. Second Ezra 8 verse 62. And it says, uh, These things have, an, have I not shown to all men, but unto thee, and if you like thee, then answer I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou shown me the multitude of the wonders which thou begin to do in the last time. Yeah, that's the contents, the, the, the signs and wonders in these last times. And we're living in these last, last days, man. We're here to tell you that, hey, hey. The Lord's going to give us these clues, so you got to get your mind right. Be circumspect and be prepared. Get your mind and uh, uh, spirit right, uh, right and prepared for the days that are, are drawn. Come on. But at what time thou hast not shown me? On verse 9, Second Ezra 9, verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that it is the first sometimes 
wherein the highest will begin to visit the world she made. That's right. They'll fall when there shall be seen earthquakes in all parts of the people in the world. Then shall the world understand that the Most High speak of these things, speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right. Mm -hmm. See these signs and wonders when you see uproars of the people in the world and, and earthquakes. You know, those are just two clues that these are the signs that the Lord is is, de is declaring the end from the beginning. I have Matthew 24. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Con, Con, you want me to bring this up real quick? Ma uh, Matthew 24, I'll start at verse 3, and he said, I've said, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See, so these are the clues that the beginning of sorrows is, is upcoming. You know, we already have a, a pestilence, a, a plague with, with this uh, this crown 19, this pandemic. You know, but this also we have earthquakes in diverse places, uh, wars and rumors of wars. And it's going to be a, a upcoming famine. You know, when people are, are, are panic shopping, you know, they, they buy everything out. When this whole um, pandemic started. The, the, the food market sh shelves were empty. Mm. And that, those were like precursors of the times that are going to come, man. You know, the future. And these are signs of the end of the world. And when that world is uh, Esau's rulership. It's not the end of the whole earth, uh, for say, you know, or the, you know, off the globe. It's just the end of a rulership. And it's Esau Edom's ru uh, rulership that's going to be going down, man. Call it. I got a precept, too. Call uh, this is uh, Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was mm. since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. That's yeah, right. because like uh, the scripture coined, uh, that's Jacob's trouble of yeah. time such as never was since there was a nation, man. And that's pretty much our message. We're letting you know that all hell is about to be close, man. Mm -hmm. And and Jacob's trouble is a time that the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai designed perfectly to pretty much get rid of these of the undesirables, undesirables among the nation. Yes. Because like we always say, right, if we had to wait for the vast majority of a nation to get it right, we will forever be here in this captivity. So the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai is gonna uh, cut it short, man. That's right. He's gonna cut it short. He's gonna uh, pretty much get rid of two-thirds of his people, man, because they are not fit, they are not worthy to receive, to make it in the world to come, man. They have to die on this side and come back to the Lord of the elect, man, come. you know? Yeah, I got a Jeremiah 30, verse 4, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. See, so this time of trouble, it, it, you're going to be seeing men holding their loins like a woman giving birth pains. It's going to be a lot of pain and sorrows, a lot of death, uh, uh, destruction and chaos. But it says, but he shall be saved out of it, that he is the potential elect. Those that have that knowledge, wisdom and understanding that have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to guide and direct their paths to salvation, man. So that just proves that before the, 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 uh, the kingdom of heaven is established, we're going to go through tribulation, go through bad times. And that's why we have to uh, uh, rely on ultimately that faith and then that knowledge and wisdom and understanding, man. That's right. You know, you even get what Acts 14 to 22. That's right, bro. Come. Acts 14, Acts 14 verse 22, confirming the souls mm -hmm. of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith mm -hmm. and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Moshai. Just real quick, because when we read in Jeremiah 37, it says this is time of Jacob's trouble. So the Lord is specif uh, specifying that it's the time for you so-called Israelites, man. I mean, so-called so Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites. And it's prophesied in uh, Zechariah that uh, two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die. 
And like the brother mentioned, those are the undesirables, those that don't want to see the, the, the future, those that put their trust in whatever the government tells them to do. You know, they're, they're willing to take the vaccine. They're, and and we're, we're prophesying that they're going to push this RFID chip and make it mandatory, which is the mark of the beast. They're going to easily just uh, take it, you know, instead of uh, uh, being obedient to the Heavenly Father. So that time of trouble is, again, a way to get rid of the un undesirables. Man. Okay, and this uh, second Ezra chapter 8 verse 1, he answered me saying, the Most High had made this world for few, but so like a... He answered me and said, The Most High had made this world for many, mm -hmm. but the world to come for few. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. And that, like like we said, right? Uh, the world to come, the kingdom, is only for a few selected soul, man. On this side, only a remnant going to be saved. Like uh, back in ancient Egypt, the Lord saved the whole nation. But on this side, only a remnant going to make it, man. Because, and that's how precious it's going to be, man. And that's exactly why we, we give diligence to make our calling in relationship, in relationship sure, man. You know, right. Because we understand how precious it is, man. To escape the wrath, the sad perils that's about to unfold upon the earth, man. That's right, and that's why the scripture says, uh, "Be circumspect, because the evil day draws nigh, man." So, hey, man, I don't know if your brothers got anything else. Mm -hmm. It was just a quick lesson. We just here to tell you, man, the time is to get right, as the scripture says, it's a high time to awake out of sleep. But now, it's but now it's just so salvation is nearer than we believe, believe. Right. and you know we're we're here to tell you to 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 make no tarry to turn to the Lord, man. Seek Him now before those evil days draw nigh. Repent and, and seek after Yahweh Hashem Shai man why he may be found so man we pray everything was edifying we want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh by shim kadash double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth and peace and salutations to the bayaf dawada that's the house of david the elect until next time we want to say i don't want to lord willing shalom, shalom.